Hello everybody, this is Pastor Green. So I wanted to make a quick video. I had somebody watching one of my Genesis Bible studies. And I think they were commenting on Genesis 17. I don't remember off the top of my head. But they were talking about circumcision. And they said, well, you know, how do you think that Abraham felt when God pretty much told him you need to be circumcised and your kids and all your relatives... How do you think Abraham felt about that? And the response I gave was, you know, a really simple response. I said, you have to understand the faith of Abraham. Abraham was just hanging out, living his life. And this unknown voice came to him and said, Abraham, or Abram, I want you to leave everything you know, your family, your friends, everything. And I want you to go to a place, and I'm not going to tell you where it's at. And instead of Abraham really questioning God, he just said, okay. He packed up everything he had and left. I don't know that you or I or anybody else would really just pack up everything we have and leave when an unknown voice tells us to do so. I don't, um, I don't think I would do that personally. I might have a couple questions first. And then you have circumcision. There's no really benefit to being circumcised except possibly maybe it's easier to clean yourself which I would assume that uh, they were pretty much experts at cleaning themselves but um, there's really no there's really no professional um, medical benefit to being circumcised and as a man you definitely are going to think that um Circumcision would be really, really weird. That's a very private part of your body. It's very, uh, a lot of guys hold the area very dear to them. And to chop off a little bit of it, just because, just really, that'd be very difficult for me. Obviously today, I don't really see a big issue with circumcision. There's people that are on both sides. But it's kind of the norm right now. But this is something that, really wasn't normal. It was barbaric and weird and I I can only imagine I can only imagine Abraham's thoughts. You you want me to do what? Like what are you talking about? I, I just uh, it blows my mind to think that that would be something that was just like, yeah, okay, sure, whatever, you know. And then later in the Bible it talks about um, him sacrificing his son Isaac. And the amount of faith it would take to do these things, just, I don't think that I personally could do that. I don't think that I personally would have that type of faith. And Abraham did it. Um, that just shows you how, how much faith Abraham really had. I mean, it's just an amazing idea to think that you would just do these things. And I can only imagine Abraham's family. So some random unknown voice said that we need a chop off a part of our very personal part of our body yeah okay whatever you say Abraham and um, if I remember correctly Abraham left everything to go to this unknown place and Abraham never got to get there he never got to see this unknown place <clears throat> and yet he still followed God and the reason why the Jews were supposed to get circumcised is God told them they were going to be a very peculiar people they were going to have really, really customs and rules, and they were going to look a certain way, and they were going to act a certain way. Uh, God called them to be different. I don't know that anybody would really see their circumcision. So I don't really know the, the benefit of that, unless it was just kind of like baptism, where it was a, a sign that you're going to follow God. You know, baptism doesn't save you salvation saves you but a baptism tells everybody around you I'm choosing to follow God maybe by circumcising your kids it's a way of saying because I love God I'm going to do this <clears throat> I really don't know the, the, the benefit of circumcision or why God would ask him to do that maybe it was just one of those things to test his faith you know I want you to take a personal part of you and chop a little bit off of it 
I really don't know. But um, you know, let, me, let me know what you guys think. Comment below. Tell me why you think God would want want circumcision to happen. What do you think the benefit was? What do you think that um, you think it was a just an outward sign of saying that you're going to follow God? Do you think it was a way to just basically test your faith? What do you guys think it is? Comment below. Let me know. Uh, make sure you like, subscribe, and comment. Let me know what you guys think about some stuff. I'll see you guys in the next video. Have a great day. Bye.